Hey guys, welcome back to Automation eLearn. I am your friend Suresh Dubey. In this video, we will discuss what is Git and GitHub and what is the difference between Git and GitHub along with their features. So overall, these are the topics that we are going to discuss in this video. We will see what is Git and what are the features of Git. On the similar line, we will talk about GitHub and features of GitHub. And at the end, we will see few scenarios where we should not use Git. So guys, by the end of this video, you will have clear knowledge about Git and GitHub features, which will lead you to use and learn their other features. So please do watch this video till the end to understand this topic completely. If you will search Git on Google, then here we see their official website, gitscm.com. And from their official website, we can read its definition. So Git is a free and open source distributed version control system designed to handle everything from small to very large project with speed and efficiency. So this is the official definition of Git. From this definition only, I have noted down couple of important points in my slide. So these are the three important points that we also saw in the definition on the Git official website. Here the first point is Git is popular source control systems and Git is distributed version control system. So when we talk about distributed, so there is one more type of version control system that is centralized or client server version control systems. For example, SVN is an example of client server version control system. In my previous video, I have discussed the difference between client server and distributed version control systems along with their working flow and benefits of each. So please do watch these two videos to understand the different types of version control systems. I have given a link in the description for your reference. And the last point is Git is free and open source. You can just download it from the internet, install and start using it. Talking about the features of Git or the reasons why we should use Git is Git is fast because of its disconnected nature. Like once the client clone the repository on his local machine, he can perform all the operations locally without connecting to the server. So this is one of the very important feature of distributed version control systems that once you clone the repository, you can perform all the tasks all the operations locally on your machine without connecting it to remote server and once done with the changes you can make a merge request at that time only you need to make a connection with the remote server so because of this nature git is very fast second point is git is a smart version control system because even if you make any mistake or unknowingly you are about to lose your changes Git will alert you very promptly along with different suggestions. Git is flexible because there are many ways to achieve the same thing. For example, there are four different ways to add your changes from the working area to staging area, which are very useful at different point of time. So Git is very flexible in terms of commands. We already discussed disconnected nature of Git. So that is one of the very important feature of distributed version control systems that we talked about despite git is fast smart flexible and it has a disconnected nature git is very powerful and easy to use compared to other version control systems available in the market one of the important feature of git is branching branching is one of the major feature which allow us to have a separate workspace within the same repo to work with new feature or any bug fix. So these were the few important features of Git. Talking about GitHub, GitHub is hosting service based on Git. It's a UI based hosting service. GitHub is lifetime free for individual and it is also free for teams of smaller size. Also there is a paid version or enterprise version of GitHub with premium features and uh, good technical support. So all the organizations that are using GitHub as a hosting services for their code base, mostly they go with the paid version only. 
which also increase the security as well and one of the point here we can see is github is more than just source control so github is not just a source control if you go to github website and open any repository so here i am on github and this is my account and this is the name of the repository so here we can see apart from the code which is the main purpose of uh, any version control system so these are my project files and folders which are being tracked by git apart from code here we have many other features that we can see on the screen for example issues pull request actions project wiki and security related and other settings issues is the place where you can maintain all your issues that you have along with their status pull request is one of the most used feature which help us to make a request whenever we want to merge two different branches pull request itself has a lot of other features and flexibility that i will talk about in my upcoming video similarly we have action so using actions on github you can set your pipeline to build test and deploy your code project where you can maintain your project all together wiki is good place for documentation and also we have option for security and other settings where we can control access related things so looking at all these features we can say github is not just a hosting service we can use github to run maintain and deliver your project everything we can manage in github only these were the main feature that we just discussed like managing code is the one of the important feature we can manage issues we have a pull request we can set up our pipeline using actions and we can completely set up our project on the github itself so these are the few main important features of github in my upcoming videos i will explain everything in detail about all these features so please subscribe to get an update on this moving ahead why we should not use git so there are three reasons which i have noted down so guys git is mainly used to store and version control code files it's not useful for binary files or executable files for example exe or dmg files if you are looking forward to use git to store your binary files then that's not a good idea and it is also not useful if you want to store large size files like files which are in gbs because as mentioned earlier git is useful to store light weighted code files only and third and important reason is if you don't like command line interface if you don't like executing commands on the cmd or git bash then you should not use git because while using git you need to execute many commands in my upcoming videos i will talk about top 10 git commands that we need to understand to work with git like an export so these are the three important reasons which i have noted down if you know any of the reason for which we should not use git then please share your point in the comment section so we all can learn and please subscribe to the channel because in in upcoming videos i'll talk about lot many other things and concepts related to git all right guys so that was the brief discussion about git and github and the differences and the and their main features i hope it's clear to you now what is git and what is github and their features and their differences please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or any doubts as i said earlier if you like the topics and the concepts that i'm discussing on this channel please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you for reading this one thank you